Welcome to our MicroAgent tutorial. In this guide, I'll introduce the Almanac contract and show you how to enable remote communication between microagents. The Almanac contract allows you to query agent information and retrieve details about registered agents. Registering microagents in the Almanac contract is crucial for facilitating remote communication. To enable communication between microagents, we follow a two step process registration and querying. Agents need to register in the Almanac contract by paying a small fee. During registration, agents specify the service endpoints they provide along with a weight parameter for each endpoint. This weight determines the probability of endpoint selection during communication. When communicating with your agent, other agents will randomly select the service endpoint based on specified weights. And these endpoints can be defined as either a list or a dictionary format. So let's go ahead and create our first microagent. We've just imported the relevant objects from the microagents package. We'll go on by defining the message class, which is a model for the message that Alice will send Bob. It has a single attribute message of type string. And we'll go ahead and give our microagent a recipient address. Now let's create Alice. We're going to give her a name, a port, a seed phrase, and an endpoint. Now, given the fact that registration on the Almanac contract isn't free and it's crucial, we're also going to use the fund agent if low function, which checks if the balance of the agent's wallet is below a certain threshold, and if so, sends a transaction to fund the wallet with a specified amount. Next, we'll go ahead and define our agent's behavior. To start with, we'll use the Alice on interval decorator to schedule a send message call routine function to run every two seconds. The send message function accepts a context object CTX as an argument. Inside the send message function, there's an asynchronous call await. This call sends a message with the content hello there Bob to the recipient specified by the recipient address variable. Next, we'll use the Alice on message decorator to register the message handler coroutine function as a handler for incoming messages of type message. The message handler function accepts three arguments, CTX, sender, and message. Inside the message handler function, we call the CTX logger info method to log information about the received message, including the sender and message content. So let's build everything now that we've given our agent all of the necessary behaviors that we want it to. Let's go ahead and create Bob now. Similarly to what we did with agent, we with, with Alice, we first start off by importing all of the relevant objects. We then go on by defining our message class. And 
then we proceed to create Bob, which is our second agent. Once again, we give him a name, a port, a C, and an endpoint. Now, once again, we will use the fund agent if low function. However, prior to that, we're also going to add a print command to print Bob's address and ensure that Alice is always working with the correct agent address. We'll then go ahead and use the fund agent if low command once again to ensure that our agents has sufficient balance to register for the Avana contract. So let's go ahead and give Bob his behaviors as well. In this case, we use the message handler function, which is a coroutine that is executed when a message is received by the agent with the Bob on message decorator. This function logs the received message using the agent's logger and sends a response message back to the original sender with the ctx.send method. The response message contains the message, data, model, but a hello there, Alice message. Now let's go ahead and construct everything. Now prior to that, we're also going to use one more function, which is the await ctx send method. So let's go ahead and construct everything. All right, then. Now let's go ahead and save both of our scripts. It seems we have a problem over here with Bob, so let's just take a look at everything and troubleshoot. Yep, seems like we missed a short comma here. So let's go ahead and save both scripts. Now let's go ahead and test everything. We'll start off by running Bob and then we'll run Alice. All right, and as you can see, we've printed Bob's address. He's registered on the Amana contract, and he began receiving messages from Alice, which is saying, hello there, Bob. And in response to that, he's showing her, hello there, Alice, as a response. And this concludes our tutorial for remote agent communication. Thank you very much.